Hi everyone, I'm so excited. Snuggle Buddies are live on Kickstarter. I've been wanting to get on this live Facebook since go, which was like 9 a.m. and it's been 50 minutes and it's just been one thing after the next, making sure the links are working. Oh my gosh, uh, I had one of the rewards wrong. You, you can't find these things till it's live and I'm so grateful for you guys um, giving me all the heads up, but we are live. Snuggle Buddies are launched on Kickstarter, and I just wanted to show you guys, my little buddies, what's happening. These are the Peacemaker Gang, so Snuggle Buddies bring the peacemakers to life, and they help children learn to express their feelings. So let me see who's gonna be my ambassador. We'll use Silly Fox here. So inside a back pocket on every one of their seven in the, in the line, there are these four plush storytellers we call them and they are mood emojis so kids as young as two and three are playing with these I met a little four-year-old yesterday and an eight-year-old they were gaga over their new little best friends they're super hug huggable and snuggable and they learned like this the mom was blown away at the four-year-old learning the four mood categories so there are four mood categories we as human beings have whether adult or child and we can start teaching kids about emotions, just like we teach them their ABCs or their one, two, threes. Age two, literally age one, we could be teaching them about these things. If you think about it, what are we doing when we do little um, little tootsie toes, right? When we do this little piggy, we're, we're starting pre-counting. We are teaching language acquisition, reading board books when babies are weeks, months old. Why don't we start teaching emotions? That is the mission. Hey, Rhea, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Laura. Hi, Stephanie. They're all saying hi. All my little peacemakers want to get in on the fun. Okay, so let me tell you about these guys. Hi, Heather. Okay, so you can guess. What do you think this is? Little teardrop, right? Our sad, right? These are our sad feelings. So sad feelings are low energy and not pleasant. What do you think this is? It's like a happy sun, isn't it? Or a smiley face. It's happy. So this is high energy, good, pleasant feelings. <gasps> what do you think this is? And this is literally how I introduce it to children. What do you think this is? And then like, love! They get that one every time. So this is calm or love or peace. And oh my God, I love when you talk with these, uh, about these with kids, they immediately start to show these feelings on their faces. Okay, so this is, low energy but pleasant and we need to talk about this feeling more with kids you know when kids think about pleasant they think about this high energy like silly or fun but there's a whole nother way to be in the body this is a great place to be when we're learning so if you're a teacher and you want to get kids in their thinking learning brain right you feel me you're getting back from recess you get out the snuggle buddies and you create a transition ritual where you just pass your snuggle buddy around the circle and everyone maybe just holds the emoji that they're feeling and says a feeling word out in, you know, or they could do it privately, you can make up lots of rituals. The last one is this sort of bam symbol. And what do you think that is? That is angry or scared. It's high energy, not pleasant in the body. So you feel me? There's these four main mood categories. Every plush emoji, uh, every plush has the four storytellers that goes in a back pocket, and they're huge. They're 15 inches, so they're they're really oversized. They're meant to be uh, like a pillow you could sleep on or really, really hug and regulate. So, hi, Terry. Hi, Becky. Hi, Michelle. I'm so glad you guys are here. I feel I like I'm ignoring my friends, my other best friends, if I don't show them to you. This is super sweet Red Bear. He explores the theme of power. And every one of these guys, if you know our peacemakers, you know they have superpowers, right? Superpowers um, that we all have inside of us. The yellow lion brings balance into the world. So the mantras that we work with in the peacemaker cards that yellow lion shares are all about that uh, leading from the inside out. And then we've got um, lovebird, little green hummingbird loves to talk to us about the love that we are and love as a noun. You are love, not just you are lovable or you are loved, which is a verb, but love is a noun. T 
teaching kids of their innate worthiness. Hi, Becky. Um, thank you, you rock too. And this little guy has to probably be my favorite. Okay, Owl talks about intuition right here, right? The third eye. And I feel like if we could get to every kid on this planet and remind them that their body knows what to do and teach them that their feelings are valuable, mentionable, manageable, I think we could change the world. I think that kids could feel safe trusting their intuition. How would that change things with strangers, with people who aren't strangers who are, you know, uh, scary to them? That would give them permission to have a voice and to be strong. And you know what? Sometimes kids need to um, be defiant, flat out. Uh, and if we teach kids to listen to their bodies, we keep kids safe in the world, okay? And beyond just keeping them safe in the world, we empower them as teens to go the way they are meant to go in this life, to follow their bliss. So big dissertation about this little guy because he's probably my favorite. And then last but not least, Miss Violet, the elephant. And she's all about forgiveness. So we're exploring that forgiveness is not something we do letting people off the hook. It's more of an experience inside our bodies, right? When we forgive something, we let go of the negative energy that's pulling us down about it, and we connect to the universe. We connect to source. We connect with one another. So Violet is deeply spiritual, and she's really connecting us to ourselves, to other people, and the planet, nature, everyone around us. So that is our Snuggle Buddy Gang. I, I could talk forever, but I'm going to stop. But I'm so excited. I wanted you to know that we were a half hour in. We were a quarter of the way <laughs> to our launch goal. So we are raising $20,000. Um, I am so excited. I hope you guys will help me bring them to the world. And I have ideas. The more we raise, the more we can do. I had an idea yesterday. I want to provide adoption papers with these guys. I want every child in the world who gets their snuggle buddies and shares an image of them on Facebook or wherever of their new forever friend with the forever friend's name and their name, we will draw up adoption papers and send you digital adoption papers to print. Is that so fun? I'm so excited. I really want to hit military families, adoption, foster families, all families. So these little guys are gonna come sort of like Cabbage Patch did back in the day with adoption papers. All right, thank you, I will stop. Hi Susan, hi Margaret, hi everybody. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. And also, if you saw me yesterday, yes, I was wearing the same shirt. I got about an hour of sleep last night. And um, this is my coffee, but actually this is my coffee, so. <laughs> Thank you. I'm actually really needing a cup right now. Thank you so much. Please, please, please click the link. Head over to Kickstarter. I don't care if you buy it, but I want you to share it. Help us launch these little puppies to the moon, baby. To the moon. Love you guys. Bye. Just a little excited over here.